All right, all right, all right. Hey, everybody, what's going on? It's our last stop for today, and we are here at Crab. Oh. Cajun Crab. Cajun Crab. <laughs> out here off of, what's that out there? Not Okeechobee, is it? Jog and Okeechobee. Jog and Okeechobee Road. We're way off the beaten path here, well, for us, from being from Delray. But we're here with Tree, and Tree, this is our family restaurant. Hi. This is one of the things you guys put out. We call these the mud bugs. Uh, these are crawfish, so crawfish is one of the dishes that you guys do down here that you're famous for. Yes. And how do you do those? Uh, we just put it in a traditional boil and then we toss it in our like, Cajun garlic butter afterwards. So it's known more for a Cajun style, like um, Cajun as in Cajun Asian versus the re <laughs> regular Cajun style, which is like the traditional dry boil where they'll put uh, Cajun seasoning or Old Bay over it. They'll toss it in a dry seasoning. Ours is more of a wet seasoning, which is becoming more and more popular across the United States. So it's so funny because I just watched a special the other day with, um, with, a, a, with a bunch of chefs and they were talking about how Houston has become a center for like crawfish Asian, and everything, yeah. but they're doing more of an Asian style. Mm -hmm. So they did a comparison of like the flavors that for the crawfish that's going on in New Orleans, which is more traditional and they do it, the, and, but there's this also this, the Asian influence that's coming into places like Houston and what they're doing with all the different flavors there. How long have you guys been here? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. And it's a family operation, right? Family I just saw operation. mom and pop in the kitchen, the yes. sister's in there. Yes. Wow, so you guys took it pretty hard when, when the COVID started? We did, because I mean, we had like 10, 11 workers in here any given day, you know, like just working at any given shift. And now it's, you see us, four of us. Yeah, yeah. Um, really. On the weekends and on like Mother's Day, we brought in more people, but we're still nowhere near what we were before, you know? Right. Like this dining room would be full. <laughs> now we're just doing like as many orders as we can within every given hour. Are you allowed to open up right now 25% or 50%? You're just we're choosing allowed not to? 50%, but we're not choosing not to right now because our to-go numbers are pretty, I think, going to be in line with if we were to open at 50%. Right. Um, and it just doesn't, like, I... We're such sticklers for like sanitation and things, we would be so on top of our employees that I don't think they would love that that much. So good to know when they do open, it's gonna be one of the cleanest restaurants in town, that's for sure. We appreciate you guys being here. Evidently, like you were saying, Supper Club has helped you out somewhat, getting yes. your numbers up, so that's awesome. And hopefully with these videos, because you guys got some fresh crawfish here. What else you guys, you said you're trying to get the blue claws. I know I yeah, asked you about we those. We normally get them, like before uh, COVID-19, we got them, it was served every day. Like that was our second best seller next to crawfish. Uh -huh. um, we do still have snow crabs, king crab, lobster tails, shrimp, you know, and mussels. But our live seafood is what brought people in our door. And you said you were doing like 300 pounds, two to 300 pounds a, a week? week? Yeah, and yeah. that's open four days a week. You know, we're open Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday right now for carry out only. We haven't opened for the week yet. So can you say that again for everybody so they know if you guys want to get carry out? Uh, Wednesdays and Friday to Sunday. Wednesdays and then Friday Friday's to Saturday Sunday and, Sunday, and yes. your hours? Yes. Um, well, it just depends. Lately, we've been open for lunch and dinner, but it just depends on the day. Like today, it's rainy a little bit, so we decided to open for just dinner. Okay. Um, we usually announce it on our social media, so on our Facebook or our Instagram, you'll always see the daily hours posted daily. And you've been a great story because you got involved with the Supper Club, and I don't want to say you were floundering, but you were kind of like, and you've caught, you've like, you're like a duck in water now. You're posting every day. Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job with social media, and uh, we just love to see you guys, you know, Get, getting a handle on that and starting to uh, take advantage of the platform that we've kind of helped create there. So. Well, with Facebook and Instagram, you are able to see the insight and how many people see your posts of the day. And I noticed that the more I post on your sites and on your pages, um, we get more views, you know, and people are always messaging us on the side now. Hey, I didn't even know you were there, you know, so... It's given us a lot of exposure for customers we didn't have before. You hear that, restaurants? You hear that? She's catching on. She's got it. You were actually in our restaurant uh, round table that we did. You yeah. had a lot of great input for all the restaurants. So here's somebody who's not, not laying down on this. She's going to give it every piece. She's going to fight, 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 and make it happen. And if you're looking for a place to get crawfish, woo, you almost got me. All right, you guys, take care. We'll see you. He almost got me, man. <laughs>